Belize Lake. And you could see the chop on the lake early in the day, too. This is what helped to bring in that system or bring it out, I guess you could say, as it was rolling through. The winds were up. And now, as that system is out of here, we have the pressure gradient a uh, little lessened. And that means we've got glass conditions on that lake right now. You're looking at November as we look back. I know it's hard to believe it's already December 1st, but looking back at November rainfall, we had more than five inches of rain. This put us as the 16th wettest on record. Also, a very warm November, about the 19th warmest November when we look at those mean temperatures. Yeah, definitely a nice stretch there that we had with some warm temperatures. 82 degrees earlier in the month. Oh, that seems like forever ago now. 50 degrees though agrees for today. 51 in Burlington and 48 in Mount Airy. 55 is the average high this time of the year, so we are running below normal and morning lows were certainly cold. 31 degrees. You've got mostly clear skies right now. We're going to start to see a few clouds roll in by early morning to mid morning and that doesn't necessarily help us out with the temperatures that are already plummeting. We're going to be in those low to mid 20s out there for the foothills and into the triad. You're at 32 in King. We've got 29 in Pleasant Garden and 28 in Liberty, where we have those calm winds. This is where we're seeing those colder temperatures. You are sitting at 32 degrees in Sparta as well as Jefferson. Your winds have been anywhere from three to six miles an hour, and that's helping you out there. 28 degrees though in North Wilkesboro, so definitely a freezing cold morning. Now we have winds out of the southeast at about three miles an hour in Greensboro. That might help to warm temperatures at times overnight, but counting on those 20s is a good bet right now. We've got 28 degrees. Clouds move in through 9, 10 a.m. and then we see some sunshine for middle of the day. So off and on with the clouds. Then they stack up the later we had through the evening. So 54 for a high and then we dip down into those 40s with more clouds. 26 in the foothills, Mount Airy, Yakinville. You're also pretty comfortable for the afternoon with 52 degrees, but if you're not in the sunshine, it is going to feel cool. We should be at about 55, 56 for you there tomorrow too. 44 degrees for the mountains. Oh, more clouds. Yes, as we head into the late evening hours, we might even see a few spring building. It's a cold start tomorrow morning, clouds in and out, sunshine, and then here come the clouds to stay as we set up your early Saturday morning. Those spotty showers, they build first from the north and west and a few from the south, and this is what we get for about 4 a.m. Spotty action. So for folks setting up for any of those events, we've got morning runs, we have uh, lots of parades happening. We can expect to see some scattered showers. 7 a.m., a few showers rolling into the northern Piedmont and then spreading out across the Triad through 10 a.m. And you notice moving east around 11 a.m. and noontime, we should begin to clear from west to east. Now, you might not see as much sunshine until 1 or 2 o'clock, and by that point, we'll be in the low to mid 50s for some and makes it up to about 59 degrees for folks of the tribe. So that's good news. But you notice we don't have the winter precipitation just yet. It looks like the mountains hopefully will stay out of that wintry uh, chance. You're looking at the mild weather overall and staying with us for a little while longer. And then we'll talk about a bigger cool down that comes for the following weekend. It does look like we're going to be in that mild zone for quite a while until about next weekend as we talk about Saturday and Sunday. So let's not even talk about that yet, though, because the holiday events for for your Wentworth area tree lighting tomorrow evening. It's going to be pretty cloudy and it's going to be cool. You need those extra layers, whether you're doing that or all those Saturday parades on your Saturday morning and the afternoon. Lots happening this weekend. And the good news is we have some sunshine returning late Saturday afternoon. Just keep bundled up.